Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture with ISO IEC 17025-2017 edition and management system requirements. Under management system requirements, we have two options. Option A and option B that will be explained in the next lectures, inshallah. General requirement for this clause, the lab shall establish document and maintain a management system that's capable of supporting and demonstrating consistent achievement of this document of requirement of this document and assuring the quality of lab results so lab management system established inside the lab shall assure the quality of lab results and shall meet the requirement of clauses from four to seven that's explained in this uh, in this document and to meet the requirement of these clauses from four to seven so you shall implement a management system in accordance with option a and option b and why these options and that will be found in annex b in this document first point to ensure that laboratories can operate management system conform to iso 9001 quality management system and this document iso 17 or 25 2017 and both options both option a and option b will achieve the same results in the performance of management system and compliance with the clauses from four to seven as i mentioned before and what are the option a and option b option a if the lab was not accredited according to ISO 17 or 25 2017 edition and they need to be accredited the lab shall comply with all requirements specified in section 8 from 8 up to 8 9 so the assessment body will assess the lab against requirement as listed in ISO 17 or 25 2017 edition from 8 to up to 8 9 and also other clauses from 4 to 7 but if the lab was accredited according to ISO 9001 2015 edition and they need to be accredited according to 17 or 25 2017 edition they shall follow option B option B the lab that establish a management system in accordance of the requirement of ISO 9001 2015 edition and can fulfill the requirement of clauses from 4 to 7 and 8 to up to 8 9 they will follow option B and what are the changes in this clause the entire chapter is new and now it's more simpler than before because in, as an option B laboratories accredited according to ISO 9001 2015 edition they already have many documents related to this ISO and they don't need to have a separate document for ISO 17 or 25 but only documents which are not there in 9001 will be prepared especially documents related from related to clauses from 4 to 7 and if there is any document in 9001 prepared already no need to prepare again or to have a separate document for 17 or 25 after general requirement management system documentation 8 2 the difference here between 2005 edition and 2017 edition here it was by the name of management system clause 4 2 and 2017 the need for quality manual has been erased even erased also from ISO 9001 2015 edition but still can be used still you can have the quality manual to assure the policies and objectives that policies and objectives are acknowledged and implemented at all levels of the lab organization but I prefer not to use quality manual because I found it's not important for the lab you just need to have the quality procedures whatever procedures required for all operations inside the all processes inside the lab and that's enough but if you have already the quality manual and you want to still use this quality manual 
there is no problem from that and the following requirements are no longer applicable or available in 2017 edition from 2005 edition these requirements from 2005 edition labs management system related to quality including quality policy statement shall be defined in the quality manual and the quality manual shall include the reference to the supporting procedure if you write any sentence you shall refer that to the supporting procedure so if you have the supporting procedure why do you need to have the quality manual and also from the beginning really in 2005 edition i was surprised why do i need to have quality manual inside the lab if there is nothing if there is no information in that quality manual and all information will be in the supporting procedure why do i need to have quality manual i have only to prepare these supporting procedures and that's enough including technical procedure even and roles and responsibilities of the technical and the quality manager and that's removed now in 2017 edition also shall be defined in the quality manual and first point in management system documentation the lab management shall establish document and maintain policies and objectives of the fulfillment of purposes of this document and shall ensure that these policies and objectives are acknowledged by the personnel inside the lab and implemented at all levels of lab organization so for each clause explained before from four to seven you shall prepare some procedures all supporting procedures shall be prepared if you find that you shall prepare a procedure so it's must you have to prepare this procedure and the lab shall ensure that all of these procedures are acknowledged by the personnel inside the lab and implemented at all levels of lab organization in accordance with the lab management system and who is responsible to ensure that all procedures are followed and are implemented according to quality management system or lab management system the quality lead of the lab the quality lead he is responsible to ensure that and if there is any deviation as i mentioned before also if there is any deviation will be in the procedures or in any lab activity the quality lead also shall ensure that this deviation will not affect the lab management system or will not affect the quality of results or lab activity but it will help for improvement of the quality of results and the quality management system and these policies and objectives shall address competence of the personnel inside the lab impartiality and the consistent operation of the lab and that's explained before in impartiality for one close for one and in personal requirement six two and lab management shall provide evidence of commitment to the development and implementation of the management system inside the lab and to continually improving its effectiveness so they shall establish the lab management system based on the requirement of this document they shall apply all requirements of this document and after that they shall maintain the work in accordance with the lab management system and after that improvement is very important also to ensure the effectiveness of lab management system and that's mentioned before in different clauses as in 57a lab management shall ensure that communication takes place regarding the effectiveness of management system with the personal concerns such as the customer and in b 57a b integrity of management system maintained when changes are planned and implemented if you plan well for the management system or for any change in the management system and implement that so integrity of the management system will be maintained so if there is any deviation as i explained before also if there is any deviation in the lab activity or the lab management system or any procedure inside the lab or any lab activity inside the lab that shall be in accordance with the lab management system so you shall establish the lab management system by applying all requirements of this document you shall maintain after that the work in accordance with the lab management system and you shall develop or improve improve in the lab management system and if there is any change in that system shall be planned and implemented and that was related to the communication with the customer and 
personal in personal also you'll find that ensure providing suitable training for the personnel before authorization and communication inside the lab there should be or the lab management shall ensure that there is a communication between management technical operation and support services and that also to ensure the effectiveness of the management system and finally improvement in the management system if you want to make improvement in the lab management system after that that will be mainly based on the internal audits management reviews also assessment external audits and communication with the customer if there is any complaint from the customer because during internal audit you will find the quality lead of the lab will find non-conforming work and based on this non-conforming work they will find the appropriate corrective action that will prevent this to happen again so based on the risk you find you find corrective action to remove this and to prevent this, this to happen again this is improvement in the lab management system and also during the management review there will be communication with the customer if there is any complaint from the customer also can be discussed in the management review and if there is any improvement shall be done in the lab activity also will be discussed in the management review every year so any any improvement can be explained any improvement in the lab can be explained in the management review also if there is any risk if there is any risk found in the lab during the year will be discussed in the management review how to eliminate or reduce this risk and also during the assessment or external audit from the accreditation bodies also if they found non-conforming work you will find corrective action to remove this risk so the lab shall establish management system by applying all requirements of this document and maintain the work in accordance with the lab management system and after that find a way to improve in this management system and all documentations inside the lab processes systems records related to the fulfillment of the requirement of this document shall be included in a referenced form or linked to the management system all documentation inside the lab processes procedures uh, for records everything shall be included in that management system or referenced from the management system and that's also like before in the quality manual some all supporting procedures shall be referenced from the quality manual so quality management system whether paper or electronic system shall include all activities all activities required to fulfill the requirement of this document and to ensure that valid results are given to the customer and finally personal involvement in lab activities shall have access to parts of management system documentation and related information that are applicable to their responsibilities and that's explained before also in 7.11.1 in process requirement so all personnel inside the lab inside every unit shall have access to all documentations related to their lab activities that was the end of our lecture for today thank you and see you in the next lecture